Hey everybody, today we're going to do a little bit of witchy DIY. So before I get into it, I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about um, how cool bells are. Um, you've probably maybe heard this before, but I just want to tell you, um, bells are significant in that they help to break up negative vibes in the house. Um, if things are kind of off um, if people seem to be snippy, um, if someone's upset, um, it's always a good idea to kind of ring a bell. Um, I can't exactly tell you why it works so well, but it helps to just relieve a little bit of that oppression that's kind of hanging around in your house. So that's why kind of bells are cool to have around. So now I want to talk to you about making your own witch bells. And to do that, what you're going to need is some twine and some bells and maybe some essential oils. Um, and then just a few personal items, you know, depending on how you want to make your witch bells. Um, the idea here with a witch bell is that you're going to guard your home. You're going to hang a bell on your doorknob or somewhere on your door so that when people enter, it's guarding your house from any negativity from coming inside. Um, it's going to break it up. It's, it's kind of going back to what I was just telling you about ringing the bell in your house when there's that sort of oppressive vibe happening. It's going to basically remove that vibe from coming into your house. So, you know, why wouldn't you want to have something like this hanging on your door? I mean, I do. That's why I made one today. So I want to show you what you can do. Um, if you've got twine, that's excellent. If you have yarn, if you have um, string, I don't know if you want to go with string. You want something that's going to be tough, right? It's going to be hanging on your front door. Uh, I have a 17-year-old and doors get slammed. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, make it as tough as you need it to be. Um, you can get something like this. This is thin kind of twine, um, which works great for little bells. Um, or you can get something sturdy and strong, which is this twine, which I, I mean, I always have twine around anyways, just because I like to craft. Um, I use it for other projects, so I kind of have this stuff on hand, but it's easy to find. You can go to the craft store, you can go to Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, wherever you choose. Um, there are even some places like the dollar store that would have some twine or yarn, you know, depending on how you want to make it. Again, there is no standard procedure here. This is all about you and how you want uh, your witch bells to turn out. So uh, with that being said, if you don't already have a couple of these little bad boys, the jingle bells. These are, again, very easy to find. Get you some jingle bells. Um, if you don't like jingle bells, then get you something else. It's a bell. Again, we're talking about guarding your home. So it can be as small as you want it or as big and robust as you want to make it. So when you're done with your thin twine and your jingle bells, you might end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Isn't that lovely? Listen to that. I think I might even make one for my car. But for right now, I have this awesome little set of um, witch bells that I made. Um, and <clears throat> I also soaked my twine in a little bit of a, um, what I call a smudge spray um, that I've made off of, <clears throat> excuse me, essential oils that have a blend of sage um, and lavender. We both, everyone should know um, by now that sage is, is something that's good for removing negative um, energies anyways, so why not? I just thought I'd give it a shot um, and see if it helps. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's going to be one of those every little bit helps kind of thing, so we'll see. I'll give it a shot. Um, so that was the Jingle Bell one. Um, you can also make it as personal as you want because, again, this is about how you want to make your own witch bell. Like I said, there's no set... Um, instructions for this. So what I did is I have a candle snuffer um, that I made into a witch bell. Um, so here it is. Here's my little candle snuffer. See, you see the little for snuffing out candles? And I used it um, one last time to snuff out one of my um, sage 
um, herbal infused candles so that um, closing out one of my own rituals, I was hoping that it would um, it would contain some of that energy that I put into it. Um, I snuffed out my candle. I soaked my my twine here again in my smudged um, essential oil blend. And I also decided to tie a crystal, a quartz crystal amulet that I've had <clears throat> to the top here since I've had this since I was a child. So this means a lot to me. I've tied it very sturdily on here so that it won't come off. Uh, I haven't yet decided if this one's going to go on my front door, but um, I did put a lot more, a lot more of my intent into making this one. This one's a little bit more special to me, even though the jingle bells are just as special because I love how they turned out. Um, I made this one basically from uh, from the ground up. It wasn't even a bell to begin with. It was it was a candle snuffer. Um, I I put the little chime in there. I um, put my own amulet on it. I used a lot of my own intent when I when I put this little this bad boy together. So um, I feel personally like this one is going to be stronger just because uh, of all of that that I put into it. But you know who knows. Um, it, it, again, it's up to you how you want to make up and how you want to use them. Um, and I just want to give a few other suggestions to you for uh, making your DIY witch ball, uh, bells. You can, uh, on top of using an amulet like I did, um, you could also add feathers to yours if you have any or if you know where you can collect some. It's winter here and it's beyond like snowy and too cold to go outside. So. I'm not looking for feathers right now, but if you can get some white feathers to add to your witch bells, then that would be good because they are for um, peace and for purity. That's the white feathers. Um, also, um, the reason why I'm suggesting feathers in the first place is because they entice angelic spirits. So why wouldn't you want to add white feathers to it? I probably will do that to mine as well, just, you know, after the snow kind of clears out and I can go walk into the woods and find some feathers. Um, another thing that you can do if you're into knotting, um, and again, you don't um, have to use like what I did with twine here, you could use um, yarn. Um, and with knotting, if you wanted to go that route, um, I would recommend using red, white, and black colored yarn um, or I don't know, maybe they make those colors in twine. I don't, I don't know, I haven't seen that before. But um, that is for protection, purity, and destroying negativity. So those three colors would probably pack a punch, you know, um, in addition to the bell. And if you wanted to do the feathers or the amulet, um, and I, again, suggest maybe using of um, a, a blend of essential oils. Oh, and one more thing. You can always go to your local church and get a vial of um, holy water. You know, right when you walk in, they'll have it there. It is yours for the taking, so you can get some of that and soak your twine or your yarn or what have you um, in that blessed water before you um, wrap up your bell and hang it on your door just for another extra punch. So anyways, give it a shot. Um, it's a fun DIY and you end up with something beautiful and creative that will also help guard your home. So why not, right? Um, give it a shot. Let us know how you turn out. Bye!